What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how iTag works in HTML and how to use it properly. Before you decide to mark up your text content using iTag, you need to answer these questions. Do you have technical terms in your text content? If yes, then you can use iTag. Do you want to express thoughts? If yes, then you can use iTag. Do you have shapes or vessel names in your text content? If yes, then you can use iTag. Do you have species or genus name in your text content? If yes, then you can use iTag. So these are the most common use cases for HTML iTag. Now, let's write some code and learn how to use iTag properly. Here I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. On line 17, I have a sentence and it's saying that the kernel is the central component of a computer operating systems. And there are two technical terms in this sentence. First one is kernel and the second one is operating system. As I mentioned before, we can mark up technical term using iTag. Let's do the kernel first. The opening iTag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, i, and right angle bracket. And the closing iTag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, i, and right angle bracket. And opening iTag here, and closing iTag here. On line 18, I have another sentence and it's saying that I saw what happened and thought, this is crazy. And part of the sentence starting from this is the thought of the author. As I mentioned before, we can mark up thoughts using iTag. So let's mark up this part using HTML iTag. So the opening iTag here and closing iTag here. On line 19, I have another sentence and it's saying that the Titanic was the product of intense competition among rival shipping lines in the first half of the 20th century. And there's a ship name here called Titanic. As I mentioned before, we can mark up ship name using iTag. So let's mark up the ship name Titanic using HTML iTag. So the opening iTag here and Closing iTag here. On line 22, I have another sentence and it's saying that the tiger is the largest extant cat species. And there is a species named cat in these sentences. As I mentioned before, we can mark up species name using iTag. So let's mark up species name cat using HTML iTag. So the opening iTag here and closing iTag here. Now I'm going to save this. Let's try this up in the browser and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, all the words I marked up using iTag are now rendered as an italic text. That is how browsers render text contents marked up with iTag. But it doesn't mean you can use iTag when you only want to make your text italic. Use CSS styling if you only want to make an italic text. Now, if you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.